Tiger bend handstand push-ups. I'm gonna train them today. I'm gonna to go through how I warm up for them. It's now, this is something I haven't done that often. I've done it like, I don't know, 10 times maybe since I've been training handstands. Um, but I'm pretty strong in the handstand push-up and I think I know how to do like good eccentrics and work towards the skill. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I'm working for it at the moment. Uh, it's something that I'm adding in because I want to be able to get the skill nice and easy. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the handstand push up, have my head close to the floor, and then just rock back for the transition. So I come down nice and controlled, head just off the floor. Okay, now I rock the feet over as I take the elbows down. Now I'm going to just keep working those eccentrics and I'm going to try and add a concentric. So just attempt to, as the elbows touch, rest for a few seconds and then flick back up into the bottom of the handstand push up and push back out. So I'm going to try and keep a lot of momentum between the, um, the, hands, the bottom of the handstand push up and the forearm standing. Try and go between the two um, with the least amount of energy. In the past I've tried to muscle it. I'm going to try and use uh, momentum and like balance and positioning of the legs. Uh, instead of trying to muscle uh, the hell out of it, meaning that I should be able to get multiple reps once I've got that skill, that transition. Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end, no, they don't fade away. So when I'm gone, when I'm gone, I'll be right there. Okay, so I've had six goes so far. I managed to do it once. I've taken the mat away now, so I'm gonna try uh, real attempts to see if I can do it on the floor, make it as clean as possible. So this is attempt number one of the real attempts. Like, attempt number seven. Messy, the legs went over. Ideally, my legs and torso and everything would stay straight. Okay, let's try a different variation now. So I'm struggling to do it with a straight body today. So I'm gonna try the hollow back Mexican scorpion style uh, version. So allow my knees to bend a little bit of an arch through the body. Um, it's a different variation, but I think it's a regression. I think it's slightly easier. <laughs> Didn't work. I'm gonna try again. Yes, that one was different. I actually found it a bit smoother to get back onto the hands. The ones who let shine through the rain. And then an easier version of the um, Tiger Bend push-ups is to do it on an elevated surface. That way your head and shoulders can come much lower. So the transition is much slower, can be really slow actually. Um, and I'll find my legs don't drop uh, over too far then. So yeah, you see on the box here, the head goes much lower and then I can transition down and back again pretty slow. That's it. And I don't need to kick the legs over so far. So I definitely want to try and get that same technique on the floor. And I've seen like um, some monster, he does it that way. So it's a real slow, um, the body stays straight and goes forward and back. So that's the goal. Anyway, comments below. Let me know if you want any particular video. I've got another one coming up. I've had a guy request um, programming for handstands. So just how do you put together a session? So I'm going to do that. Um, comment below, like, subscribe. See you next time. We'll take them to the grave. So when I'm